It's eight past eleven. Good evening. Back to the GH5 after last night's um, daily vlog with the iPad Pro. I gotta say, a few things kind of occurred to me. Maybe I sort of misjudged this. Yes, the angle of view on the iPad Pro 11 inch is nice and wide when you set it to 0 0.5, which is less than one times. Uh, I think it's 14 mil. That looks rad. However, what doesn't look rad is the way the iPad deals with low light situations. So I know there's a I know there's the thing that you can tap and hold and therefore you lock exposure as well as focus. I know there's like you tap it's like you you tap on the screen. Where's where, let, let me grab the iPad here. I'll grab this sucker. Here it is right here. Let's grab this. See if we can use this in itself. So you tap on the screen and therefore you get a... It's kind of strange, like you tap the screen and you get what the screen tells you is the best focus point. Let me just bring up... Face ID is pretty sick, the way that that opens up. Let me just open up uh, the camera here. So camera is on. So if you're... This is going to be kind of hard to, exp to showcase. By the way, Magic Keyboard, heaps good. No matter where you put this thing, I mean, okay, that's, there's a good example. Okay, so if we tilt this forward, so we're getting, we're getting a focus on this lamp behind. So if I was to tap and hold, it would not only focus, but you see there it says autofocus, oh, sorry, AEAF auto exposure auto focus lock. Now, if I was to tap and drag down, you're dropping the focus. In my mind, does that stay like that? If I move the if I move the camera around now, does that stay at that? It does. It looks like. By the way, that's that's one times. So we got to go back to 0.5 times. Oh, see, and the second you tap the screen, okay, so we gotta, we gotta tap here. We gotta lock it in. And drop the exposure. It's a little bit cumbersome. And now if I move that around, you do see it's, it's locking in, right? It's lock, it's locking in. It, it it's a little, a <laughs> If I could be so bold to say, that's a little bit cumbersome. The reason it's a bit cumbersome is because you got to tap and you got to wait, then you got to drag down, then you got to let your finger off. Like, there's nothing better than a tactile. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's nothing better than a tactile button or a dial to dial that crap in. But of course, Apple wants to remove all buttons, all knobs. <laughs> all ports, everything. It's, it's almost like it's not Apple unless you have a complete clean svelte sidebar. There's not even a headphone jack on this schmozzle, right? Of all, of all the stuff here, you can't even plug, you can't even plug Kansas in there. So Apple are, look at that shit. Th this is top heavy too. Like every time I put that down any, anywhere, it's like, Apple, I mean, I get it. I get the idea of looking rad. How about functionality? Fashion never functions.